you again to pay particular attention to the beat of the drum, the rhythm, and the movement of our Jingle Just Dancers. This one here is called the Side Step. Side Step or the Ojibwe Round Dance. Watch as you keep the time with the drum. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
catch him. All right, we're gonna get these boys to over here to catch your breath. So let's give them a second song. And again, you can see there's a lot of energy and stamina out there being used by these young men. And some of these boys here, they're champions all across the country with this type of a dance style. I used to dance this, so now you know how good I used to be. Hey, yeah. Uh, Okay, we're sorting out a song here. All right, well, the drummers have decided that we're going to give them a southern type of a song, a southern beat, so pay attention and listen to them. Watch the dancers keep in time. Okay, hey, okay, yeah, let's make them down. style there are, there are different stories and legends of how it originated one of the stories that i know is it originated long ago from the early movements of the scouts moving across country they were looking for new campsites to hold council with other tribes or to move their tribe to a different camp location when they came upon a campsite they would find that the grass would be really tall and it was their responsibility to lay down that tall grass through the foot movements and the dance styles that you can see here this afternoon. You will notice that on their backside, they do not wear any feather bustles of any sort. Their regalia or dance outfit is made of patchwork design, beadwork with uh, long, colorful cloth streamers, which simulates long blades of grass. This type of dance is also called a balance in life dance. For what the dancer does on one side, they must come back and do the same on the opposite foot, thus balancing out their life. Watch as they keep in time with the jump. Men's grass dance. Okay, but there you go. Let's make them dance. Double beat koha. Again, listen to the beat of the drum and watch the dancers keep in time. Right?
Brown Jr., Arapaho Creed. Now the chicken style dance here is a dance style that has uh, foot movement, body movement, all its own. It kind of originated from when you live in this wonderful state of Wyoming and you travel across it in the springtime, in the early morning hours, and you look across the prairie, you will see the sage chicken, the prairie chicken, or jenna as we call it in Arapaho. You will see the courtship dance of that prairie chicken. We have taken that courtship dance style of the prairie chicken and we've incorporated it into our dance style, our traditional style, which is a little bit different than our men's traditional. You will see that the dancers have on their backside a cluster bustle made of many, many feathers, that of all the birds, the prairie chicken. And in your left hand or right hand, they will carry a fan. And or left hand, right hand, they will carry a dance staff and different ornaments along with their, uh, their furs and their animals. Now we, the Native American, take all that we possibly can, the teachings from the animals and the birds and from nature in the four directions of life. For they teach us many, many things, and that's how we have survived, and we're still here today by listening to nature and the animals. Now, this dance style here is a very unique style. We ask that you watch, very particular to the foot movement, the body movement, and the shaking and the ruffling, symbolizing the prairie chicken. Listen to the beat of drum. Chicken style. <laughs>
talk about one guy's doing the square dance. Somebody didn't even tell me. I didn't even get invited. <laughs> okay, Keegan Eagle, Shoshone, right here in the blue. Now the hoop dance, ladies and gentlemen, is a very, very artistic kind of a dance. They have, as, as Carmen has, she has multiple hoop <laughs> She might have somewhere around 17 hoops, and uh, Keegan over here, I believe, has got one. Now, there's national competition all across the United States. And down in Phoenix, Arizona, Carmen has gone down there several times, and there's been many, many hoop dance competitions and many participants. Carmen has placed in the top 10 several times in the whole nation. She's just learning, but she is really good at what she does. And this little guy, Keegan, he just started, and he's just going to do one hoop. And if you think you can dance with one hoop, give it a try. If you can dance with 17, give it a try. How can you manage and handle 17 hoops? keeping time with the drum, keeping foot movement and body movement. And you need to watch as they make certain symbols. They will make certain things out of these hoops. They will make an eagle. They will make a butterfly. They will make a turtle. They will make Mother Earth. They will make heaven and earth. Watch as they keep in time with the drum and make a certain symbol. And don't be afraid to applaud these young people here for they are good at what they do. It takes a lot of time, energy, and stamina to do these things here. All right. Kenny went out there to see what type of song they would like to have for this kind of a hoop dance. Um, they have to dance till they complete all their symbols that they have trained to do for you. So watch as they keep in time. Watch as they create certain things. And watch the little guy as he is learning how to hoop dance. Okay, the guy, I think I'm dancing. <laughs> 